and gentlemen, today is an incredible day because we are making an announcement that I never thought we'd be making. A lot of hard work has led up to this moment. It'll make more sense as we get deeper into this video, but I'm so excited to finally announce for the very first time that we have acquired our first company and it is called High Ground. And I have the co-founder of High Ground sitting right next to me so that we can tell you all about this incredible company and why we are uh, working together on this new collaboration, this new endeavor, and why you guys should be really, really excited about it. So I have Rustin, what's your last name? So today. I never knew how to pronounce that. I always see it, I always <laughs> see it on, uh, well, we've been texting, Instagram, everything. Yeah. And uh, it's Rustin, not Rusty, so nobody should pull up. Just Rustin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 100%. All right, Rustin snowed it in. So today. So today. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. I got <laughs> syllables. I'm tough. Russ said so today. And uh, we're going to talk all about this incredible company that you have been building over the last few years. There are a lot of moving parts here. So we're going to try to pack as much information into this announcement as possible. Uh, but it's just genuinely a very, very exciting day. So Rustin, tell me a little bit about High Ground, what you guys do, what your mission is, and why should we all be excited about the company that you've created? Um, High Ground is essentially a hardware company, but that's probably only the beginning of how you can describe us. We're really trying to redefine what it means to be a hardware brand. So a lot of what we do is unique drops, graphic prints, crazy collaborations, things that you haven't seen in our space, but are kind of similar to what you guys do with apparel, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to push forward the culture in the same way that you guys do, but with the products that people use when they sit at their setups. Did you memorize that? No, I just... It, Okay. Right. A little yeah, bit. So this guy really knows what he's doing. I, I like that. I'll tell you what, my first video making for 100 Thieves, I definitely didn't pack a punch with my words like that. I think it's really important to understand that High Ground will be operating completely separate of 100 Thieves. Our first initiative together is to actually drop a collaboration together, correct? Yeah. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about the collaboration and why you love it? Should we, uh, should we do a little teaser? Real quick. I forgot that was actually right beneath my seat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys have kind of seen it. But okay. This is it in real life. Flip it over so they see the, the Hunter T keyboard, right? So this is like for the OGs that have been following the brand. Basically, the, the design process was how do we, you know, take what Hunter Thieves is known for and introduce our brand elements, but not in a way where like, yo, let's just slap two logos together and call it a day, right? There needs to be some sort of design thought process behind things in our opinion, right? In the story, yeah, it sounds good, right? And uh, so we kind of took like the GORP core uh, subculture. GORP? Yeah, so GORP is like- GORP sounds like a character from like Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> so GORP is actually like a, a term to refer to like technical outerwear, right? So like Arcteryx, North Face, et cetera. It, GORP is also like another term for like hiking trail mix. So they call people like GORP type people that do that. And so we thought like mountains, the geo print, we do a topographic print that look better up here, right? The arrows going up. That's kind of how we thought about this when we were creating this product. A lot of inspiration is taking from outdoors, climbing, GORP core. And that's how that came to be. Um, you obviously have the red geo print against the, the black keycaps here. And you have the 100 Thieves logo on the space bar, which you guys should all know and love. You can see clear that there is a white mountain here and then you have the high ground uh, word mark uh, hit on the answer. You said it's uh, hot swappable? Yeah, yeah. The keyboard comes with uh, Gateron Reds. It's a hot swappable keyboard. So you can literally make it sound or feel however you want. Put in whatever switches you want in there. Matt loves banana split switches. Uh, so you can change the sound of this keyboard however you want. We've put in a silicone dampening foam in high ground orange. Aluminum plate, right? So it's got that crispy sound, but then it's muted underneath with that dampening foam. PBT keycaps. So a lot of thought has gone into that, right? An orange PCB, right? That was just like what my co-founder and I and our small team were able to create. But with the help of 100 Thieves, we'll be able to create some really, really crazy stuff while also still being independent, of course. And it's been awesome that uh, we've been able to join the 100 Thieves family, but there's still so much more for us to come with. Uh, how long have you been running this company for? So High Ground started a year ago around COVID last year. Like we were all stuck at home, hanging out with our Discord. And the only thing that we were talking about were our setups. And it was so odd to us that we had a wardrobe, clothes, shoes, all these things that allowed us to express our personality and who we are. But when it came to our setups, they were very bland, right? It was like a black or a white keyboard. Um, and so we thought, let's change that. Let's make 
peripheral products and hardware products that allow you to express yourself, express your aesthetic, your style, the things that you're into. But we've been in the space for about four years. My co-founder Kat and I uh, first started doing like dorm room gaming tournaments in college. And then we did a bunch of different businesses. None of them really turned into what we were really looking for until we settled on high ground. And it was funny because we've always been about our community, right? We've been tunnel vision on them and we felt like the gamer is evolving, right? Like your audience and our audience have a design sensibility, right? They're aspirational. And so we wanted to provide products for those kinds of people. And when high ground came to be, it was just like everything that we, can I say You say whatever you want. It's, it was literally everything that we wanted to do. I right? love that. It just nailed for us. Like we got to do cool and make people feel a certain way. I feel like you guys are set up really well to succeed, regardless of 100 Thieves, but we're, we, we just wanna speed up the process, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I just wanted to take the moment to kind of reflect on the fact that when we started in the industry, seeing what you guys were doing was like a North Star for us, right? You guys were pushing the culture forward and it was always a dream to get to that point. And so to be here today, we're super grateful and thankful for you guys. There are so many things that I thought were special about his story with High Ground. And the way that he's able to conceptualize what his inspiration has been for a lot of the designs and the creative that he has coming down the pipeline in the future for High Ground, uh, it's just very innovative. And nobody's talking like that in this industry. I've, I've been using uh, the Sandstone High Ground keyboard for the last year since you gifted it to me. Yeah. Long before we ever even thought about working together, and honestly, the one thing that I haven't mentioned yet that I just have like this unexplainable belief and faith in is the actual name of the brand, High Ground. I don't know why, but it, it it's so on the nose, but so underground at the same time. Yeah. It just, I, I, don't, I cannot believe that somebody did not come up with a brand <laughs> named High Ground. The typography and the font that you guys use for your core branding and what you see on different type of products, it just has so much authority and, 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 and it just feels so strong. Sure, we're operating and marketing the brand in a different way, but hardware is our focus. So we're gonna make the best products that you can buy on the market and the first step towards that is the recent hire that we brought on. Uh, his name's Baron, eight years at HyperX being their head of product. The job industry in gaming is very competitive and I feel like we got ourselves a gem just because you bring so much talent in terms of creative and direction and culture of what high ground can be for the gaming community. And Baron brings a lot of expertise in developing some of the best products that the gaming industry has ever seen. Some of the products that some of you are probably using at home right now. Every single piece of hardware equipment that was released from HyperX, he had a hand in uh, creating and manufacturing those. We're all very excited for Baron to come on and we're very excited about the products that we're releasing. This is just the beginning though, right? We're gonna to continue to evolve on this journey and the future of what we're gonna be creating with the team that we're building and the vision that we have is gonna be really exciting. I completely agree. In a lot of ways, what you're doing right now reminds me of what I did with 100 Thieves. I had a, a really clear vision for what I wanted the company to be, but in a lot of ways, I didn't know how to go and execute upon those things. Yeah. And I feel like you're in a much better place where you've 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 put some notches in your I've belt. I failed a lot. Yeah, 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 you <laughs> yeah. failed a lot, which is really, really good. Yeah. Failing is in, incredibly important in yeah. business. Yeah. And uh, I just can't wait to help foster your guys' growth in any way that I can. Really quickly though, I would also like to mention um, and give you an opportunity to talk to uh, the world of keyboard enthusiasts and really enthusiasts in general. So tell me how we can make sure that keyboard enthusiasts at home don't think that we're shilling like a below average product that they won't resonate with all. Yeah, so there's so much that we wanna do with High Ground, right? We see that community. We love the products that people are creating and we wish that we could make those things. And before 100 Thieves, it would have taken us a long time. But now with 100 Thieves' help, with the team that we're building, with Baron from HyperX, we're gonna be able to bring those things to light. But it's gonna take time, right? We're doing our best with what we have now. We're trying to make the best products and we will continue to do that and continue to take in community feedback to ensure that we're making products that you guys love and are always wowing you. 
I really love that answer. Hey man, well that's what's really cool. It, it, it's it's so funny too because I think quickly beyond this video, you can learn so much more about Rustin and his business partner Cat, what they're doing with High Ground. Because you guys have also been uh, curating tons of content on TikTok and on Instagram uh, through a brand called Hype Geek, and you call it Hype Geek Culture, and it, it really is one of my favorite accounts that I follow now because it just does such a an incredible deep dive into the world of nostalgia in the gaming community. If you guys go and follow these accounts to learn more about High Ground, you're gonna be blown away by some of the things that you don't even remember as a child. Yeah, I think that's also what we're really excited about is like to tell stories with the products that we're creating, right? Bring you guys along the journey of like, oh, what, what, why are they making this design? This specific culture they're referencing and bringing it to the keyboard so that you guys can have that part of your personality expressed throughout your setup. And at the same time, providing you the performance that you need to win. We covered a lot. And I think the last part of what Rustin just said is really important. Obviously they've been around for a year and uh, I hope a lot of you guys know that is not a lot of time. And so they still have a long way to go. They have a really good grasp on the hardware aspect, but you're just gonna have to give us some time. Um, but I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised over the, over the things that you'll see in the coming months and years. If you guys wanna pick up the first collaborative effort uh, between 100 Thieves and High Ground, this will be available when? October 15th. Is that today? Is today October 15th? I think today is October 13th. Either way, we're gonna have all the information about High Ground. So go follow High Ground, go follow uh, Rustin and keep up to date with what they're doing because this is just the beginning for High Ground and we have so many incredible things to share with you soon. Thank you guys. I'm stoked, dude. I'm stoked. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. I'm supposed to snap. About it, does that make sense? Yeah. Right? Like, another thing, your favorite color is orange. And the, the orange came from, my favorite color was orange. And I was like, no one has created an orange brand in this space. Let's do it. I almost went with orange for 100 Thieves, no cap. Not even kidding. Well, we're close. <laughs>